internet was a buzz yesterday when Jay-Z took to Twitter for a rare Q&A session with his fans. The rapper answered questions ranging from his new record to his favorite cereal. Yeah, cereal. And it might just be a move that will propel his record to the top of the charts. Thanks for coming out tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Fans saw an opportunity to have Jay-Z's attention, and boy, did they ever pounce. The business mogul wasn't exactly shy either. When one fan asked why Kanye West wasn't on a Magna Carta track, the rapper was quick to point out he wasn't featured on Yeezus. In addition to giving props to Cat and Crunch cereal of all things and Britney Spears' Toxic, Jay-Z told the Twitterverse he thinks Miley Cyrus represents the old world's worst nightmare while adding a twerk reference. Translation, he thinks she's legit. After hours of fielding questions, Mr. Carter signed off with, that was fun, peace all. I guess there's only one question that remains after question period. Why isn't Jay following his girl B on Twitter? Guess we're gonna have to wait till his next album drops before we can ask. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. And while Jay-Z was making waves, Lauren Hill was making her way to the slammer to begin a three-month stint for tax evasion. The singer checked herself into a minimum security prison in Connecticut yesterday, looking rather stylish for someone who couldn't pay her taxes for three years. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh. Unfortunately, she isn't exactly off the hook once her jail time is up. The former Fuji's frontwoman is expected to do three months of house arrest, which really is a non-punishment for celebs. Because they live in mansions. Okay, on to better news. Months after Hurricane Sandy ravaged parts of New Jersey, hometown hero John Bon Jovi rose to the occasion, much to the delight of locals who pretty much already worship the ground he walks on anyway. It's my The Bon Jovi frontman announced that he was donating a whopping $1 million to the Hurricane Relief Fund, which also served as a reminder that people are still in need. So I know that this million dollars sounds like a lot, but it's really just a drop in the bucket. And I know that there are people that are still suffering. We are taking a step today to rebuild lives. I, for one, didn't think this was going to happen. Back home, Calgarians are dealing with the effects of a flood that left immeasurable damage. But the show must go on, and the stampede came together for the greater good of the city's resilient residents. Sean Desmond was just one of many performers excited to give back to locals. I love Calgary. I love the vibe of Calgary, the people coming here and actually seeing this. And it's like, I wasn't here when the water was here, so I can't even imagine what it looked like. It was so beautiful to see how many people came together to help strangers, people that they didn't even know, you know, people that have lost homes. Today is about having fun and it's not about, you know, let's forget about what happened and let's, let's live for today. Love Sean Desmond. Okay, so now we know Jay-Z loves his Cap'n Crunch. This is breakfast, breakfast time, rather. What is your favorite cereal? We want to know. Just tweet us at NCity. Inquiring Minds.